Hello, my beautiful souls. Welcome to my podcast, The Spiritual Alchemist. If you are new to my platform, please feel free to check out my other episodes and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And to everyone that has been on my podcast, thank you so much for joining me again. I appreciate you being here as well. So today's episode is about us entering the passageway to our monad or God selves. This is very powerful, you guys. So collectively, we just experienced a solar eclipse in Aries yesterday on April 8th, 2024. So this shift in energy is very powerful. Many of us that are ascending, we're going to be shifting into higher timelines, higher vibrational frequencies, and ultimately coming into reunion with our God selves and with our soulmate or divine counterpart. So this is so powerful, you guys. So today we are talking about this passageway that we are going through to experience our monad or God selves. We were immersed in the solar eclipse energies yesterday, which will remain in our earth plane for months to come. So this is going to affect us greatly for the rest of the year, at least for the next next six months. Okay. The monadic activation phase that many are immersed in are consciously reconnecting themselves with their illumined selves and will feel the activation of the monadic alignment process that they have been undergoing for months. Okay. So the powerful life shifting Aries eclipse will help us to connect with the I am presence and further develop our own true self identity and unconditional love of self and God. There is a unification taking place, a communion that can only be built through the reconnection to our soul and monad. The solar eclipse in Aries gives us the opportunity to realign the human self to our God self. This will happen through self empowerment and our own ego clearing so we can receive authentic sovereignty. Wow, you guys, this is like the most powerful activation phase that has ever happened on planet earth. So we are really ascending quickly. And many of you guys may be noting an acceleration in time, like time moving faster, things moving very quickly. Okay. We're, we're coming into alignment with our higher selves, our God selves, which is the monad. Now, as we do the inner work, we will transform ourselves and our physical lives completely. The previous inner work the collective has done is allowing our soul and monad to descend the light activations, wisdom, and power that will ultimately transform us, but we must be willing to embrace this inner shift. So if you are feeling a sense of sadness, letting go of your old selves, your old behavior patterns, old ways of doing things, uh, you know, conditioning of thoughts, whatever is happening, there's a big, big awakening and inner shift taking place. We need to embrace this process as we are healing, transforming, letting go of our old selves and who we once were because we are being activated into a higher consciousness and our activation process with our God selves is taking place. So this is absolutely beautiful, you guys. So we are now you know, being liberated, we're breaking free from all limitations, ancestral karmic patterns, karma from this life and previous lives, and coming fully into our God selves. A new initiation phase within our ascension journey will help us to achieve a new level of consciousness And with this higher consciousness comes self mastery that will allow us a unique role within creation and move into a new higher timeline. Wow, you guys, this is so absolutely beautiful. I love this energy. So spirit is saying we hold the key to our ascension and our planet is being activated with the crystalline divine blueprint 
that will begin to restore structures and grids that were controlled or manipulated until now. So they're gonna be healed, and this is allowing us to reconnect our original connection to other dimensions. Many of you guys may be experiencing interdimensional traveling, astral traveling when you're sleeping at night, very vivid dreams, lucid dreaming, visions, downloads from spirit. So just embrace this process, you guys, because you're switching into higher timelines and you're connecting more and more to your true divine blueprint, okay? Many of us collectively are purging our old dense energies and old selves and realigning with our true divine blueprint. We will be activating more psychic gifts and abilities this year in 2024 as we discover more of who we are when we are in alignment with God source. <clears throat> we have to remember that we came here to act as light pillars in service to all and that begins by allowing God's will in everything we do. So we need to allow God's will in every single thing that we do, you guys, okay? If you need to say prayer, if you need to have a positive self-talk with yourself when you wake up in the morning or say positive affirmations, make sure you're aligning your life purpose and what you're creating, what you're doing, everything in God's will. Once we allow the wisdom, it will guide us to where we need to be next, okay? During this intense ascension passageway, we will be healing all soul disconnection and regain our self-esteem, power, and wisdom, our guidance to learn how to commune to our divine selves and our counterparts. The lunar eclipse that we had on March 25th was a time to help us focus more on self-love and nurturing ourselves and our intimate relationships to heal the past and all of our sexual implants and distortions that kept us from experiencing self-unity, which keeps us from our true divine counterparts. Many collectively who are ascending and have achieved the level of personal healing and restoring their energies and balancing them with their masculine energy will be reuniting with their divine counterparts. So as soon as you align your feminine energy and your masculine energy and you're in alignment with yourself, this is when spirit is reuniting you with your divine counterpart, your twin flame, your soulmate, your soul family. So when we realign to our fifth and sixth dimensional selves, it will allow us to attract from a soul level rather from the ego. So we're not gonna be attracting no more from that 3D lower dimensional ego self. As we step into the fifth and sixth dimensional selves, it's gonna allow us to attract from a soul level. The soul portal or fifth dimension is the first step towards reintegration so we cannot meet our divine counterparts until we are unified within ourselves. This is why this is so important, you guys, to really align with your monad, your God self, and really complete this activation process, okay? This is gonna help us to serve, to come into our soul's mission or life purpose, and we will be informed of our personal mission on planet Earth and with this divine plan. So we came as solitary souls, but will come into alignment with our divine genetic equal or soulmate. Some refer to this divine equal as their twin flame. Now, labels are not important, you guys. If you meet someone, when you're in alignment with your monad, your God self, your higher purpose in life, that next person you meet is going to be your soulmate, your twin flame, whatever label you want to put on it. It really doesn't matter. Um, we have chosen to ascend during this era of time and to help raise the frequency and restore itself of control and manipulation. What an amazing time to be alive and awakened, you know, during this powerful transformation and ascension activation. This is truly leading us to create with source and be in our sovereignty and power so we can create a new reality. The importance of this time is love, 
respect, balance, joy, and the mission you share with each other. This is something that will create something that benefits you and everyone else around you. It is all about your own personal evolution. And during this ascension phase, the female and masculine reunion is finally being achieved in all aspects of ourselves and the planet. Many are moving into the same direction to find their soulmates with a similar purpose. This is a time of realignment and the activation of your monad God self. Embrace all that comes as a divine gift to show you how to become more loved. Love will come when you first give it to yourself. We are opening ourselves to love again. And with this new level of compassion and awareness, it helps us see the truth, the original trauma and soul disconnection so we can prepare for ascension. After we learn the act of self-love, and reconnection to God is when we are open and receptive to love in all of its highest forms. Thank you guys so much for joining me on The Spiritual Alchemist. I am Psychic Iris. If you are in need of spiritual guidance or you need a psychic reading during this ascension time, please feel free to reach out to me at one 356 4000 and enter the promo code IRIS777 to receive your special discounted offer. You can also visit me at pathforwardpsychics.com or psychicsource.com. I work for both. They're both uh, sister companies. So you can connect with me on Path Forward Psychics or Psychic Source and enter the promo code IRIS777 to receive your first time special discount on your psychic reading. Okay. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I love you so much. I appreciate all of you guys supporting me on my platform and I will see you in my next episode. Sending you so much love and light. Namaste.